I'm Graham Green. And as soon as I put my glasses on. We all naturally desire a, a better Canada. Don't you agree? Is it because we deserve it? Ask yourself that. Sure, we have good health care services, some of us. Good roads, some of us. Plenty of clean water, some of us. Homes, some of us. Our share of oil spills and other disasters. We have our share of brilliant minds and uh, not so brilliant minds. Politics, not everybody agrees on. Four seasons of weather, sunshine, sometimes too much, rain, sometimes not enough. In the spring, Mother Earth wakes up, showing us her beauty. In summer, we have warmth and food growing, and in the fall, there is harvest. Then Mother Nature goes to sleep and sleeps all winter. Perhaps she needs a break from us. We are trying to go green, mind our pollution, and pay attention to climate change, use less oil, coal, and nuclear energy. We are trying to be peaceful and not hate and kill one another. We are trying to help the world community. We are by no means a utopia, far from it. But there are more terrorized people fleeing for their lives who grew up with hate, constant war, and senseless killing who think we are just the cats Meow. They don't know about the internment camps for the Japanese in World War II. They don't know about the reservation system and its deplorable conditions, discrimination and other things we as Canadians don't know exist or know very little or nothing about. They only know that it is safe here in good old Canada. They can have a real roof over their head for the first time in a long time some for the first time ever, and they are not fleeing for their lives. We as Canadians take a lot of things for granted. I know we all complain about things, that there is nowhere like Canada. We appear like somebody's nice old uncle sitting in the corner at Christmas. What could be better, I ask you? A father caught his son beating a tied up dog with a stick. He, of course, put a stop to it immediately. He told the boy, you are a human being. You should know better. Never do it again. When you see someone doing what you just did, make them stop. Or get someone to help you make them stop. If you see a crime, report it. If you see an unjust act, report it. Show kindness, not hate. Respect your elders and fellow human beings. Help them. They may hate you for it or they may love you. But somewhere along the way, all the kindness you have shown will come back to you. Now in the shed, you will find a hammer and a box of nails. Every time you fail in your duties as a human being, I want you to go and drive a nail in that post. The boy at first did not heed his father's advice. So the father put a nail in the post for him until the boy caught on, and he started doing it himself. One day, sometime later, the father saw his son standing by the post crying. The father asked him, why are you crying? The boy replied, I have run out of room. There is no room left anywhere for any more nails, and everyone can see them. So the father told him, whenever you do something good, help somebody or show kindness and respect, take a nail out of the post and put it back in the box. He watched a change in his son. It was like night and day. Sometime later, the father again saw his son standing by the post crying. Now why are you crying? All the nails are gone from the post. The boy simply said, yes, but everyone can still see the holes. The father put his hand on his son's shoulder and said, you are now a human being. Remember this post. When you are troubled, come and look at it. 
Sometimes it's good for us to look at the holes we left in our own posts. Things aren't so rosy as we would like. I believe we all desire a better Canada. Seems pretty easy. Doesn't cost anything. Just a smile, a little patient and tolerance. Say good morning to a stranger or someone who is new to Canada because Canada is their home too. We are all ambassadors for Canada. I say Canada because it means village or simply home. Our people have what we call the great law. It is read from time to time to remind us we should live in peace and harmony by this agreement made with one another and respect all creatures and elements of the earth. All are welcome as long as they abide by this great law. Now, I know my elders will probably correct me on what it really says, but at my age, I'm still a baby. I don't know much because I'm still learning. I do often find myself daydreaming of a perfect, peaceful place to live. Then again, I suppose we all do. When we are born, we have nothing. No hate, no right, no wrong, just being. For those few blessed moments, we are all free. I hope we can still live by these rules and not forget the wrongs we have done in blind moments of forgetfulness. I surely pray we will not only desire a better Canada, but by living like human beings, we will have a better Canada. Thank you.